Trainees, let me be the first to congratulate you on having successfully completed your training program and um, being selected to serve here in Senegal. I'm impressed in the manner in which you committed yourselves to working these last nine weeks, and I must say that it bodes well for the next two years. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Bon jour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Diane Ferrer, aux États-Unis, et Maryam Abade, au Senegal. Il y a deux mois que nous sommes venus au Senegal. Nonetheless, I do need to warn you that service in Senegal as volunteers is not going to necessarily be easy. However, to help you get through, through those challenging moments, remember to push your limits, but also be patient. Remember to keep an open mind, but don't lose sight of the values that brought you here. And adapt to the local culture, but never forget who you are and where you came from. And embrace the seriousness of your mission, but when going gets really tough, Remember to laugh a little bit to help you get through those tough times. Assalamu alaikum, Bolani. Mangi Nuyunet, Ni Pitel. Doreko Chikali Kilifai, Akgani, Bachi Moleteri. Nungi Rafael Lusen Tewai, Chibesti. Contana Chiyekati, Aikadu Yujoge. While the motivation and perseverance during training largely involved personal and individual efforts on your part and drew upon your internal strength, today they become a public promise. I think it's still all sinking in right now. Uh, I'm still absorbing the magnitude of it all slowly and slowly. I can't believe that PSP is over. Essentially, it's and it's daunting to think about what comes next, but I've seen the progress that we've all made, and so I'm hopeful that the progress will continue <laughs> throughout our service. Assalamu alaikum, Mujarama. Miyati wana do ambassador on, Miyati on four. Miro yeti be kali gogo be kore la beta. It was good. It was tough, and it's going to make service much easier for me. So that's, I think, the most important part. Um, this is this is what we did. Not easy, but it'll, it will allow us to do what um, we intended to, we intend to do. You have each worked very hard over the last nine weeks to get ready for this challenge. Of course, you could not have done this without the amazing Peace Corps trainers and staff. As always, they played a very important role getting you ready to face the challenges ahead. Please join me in giving them a hand. Another very important group that we must thank, though they unfortunately could not be with us here today, are those family members friends and mentors who instilled you in you a drive for international service. You honor them today with this accomplishment. Yeah, this, is, this is my third time swearing in. I'm one of the Mali transfers and uh, it, it never gets old. It really doesn't. Every time you say the oath, it, it, the words mean something. It really, I mean, really, really, they do. And, uh, I knew even after I was evacuated from Mali that this part was something I wanted to do again. You are now ready to commit to two years of service in Senegal and to uphold the three goals of the Peace Corps. To provide technical assistance to the people of Senegal. To contribute to a better understanding of Americans on the part of Senegalese. And to contribute to a better understanding of Senegalese by fellow Americans. In taking the oath, you swear your allegiance to the United States Constitution, joining famous Americans to include Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and John F. Kennedy, who have spoken these same words before. In taking this oath, you bind yourself to a proud tradition of service in the best spirit of America. Last week, you had the distinct honor of having the faith administered to you by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Today, we have the privilege to repeat this process 
in front of our honored guests, colleagues, and friends. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, and state your name, do solemnly swear. I, and the name of the do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation free. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge, discharge my duties in the Peace Corps. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.